Hello and welcome to Board Game Nights of the Round Table, to where until we get a uh, budget, our tables are a rectangle. I'm Chris. I'm Olivia. And I'm Drew. And today we're playing Fortune and Glory. The goal of this game is to get a certain amount of points before the uh, board game gets a certain amount of points. In this game, we are facing the Nazis. You can either fight the Nazis or the Chicago mob. Uh, but in the three-player game, the um, the players are trying to collectively get um, 30 points. And it's going to be 36 because of the character I have requires you to get more points. Um, so we have to get 36 points where the villains have to try to get 15 points. So um, the way we get points, the way we get fortune points, is uh, we're going to draw uh, four of these artifacts, and you also draw an adventure, so the game essentially creates new artifacts every time you play it. So you put them together like this. This is called the Cup of Medusa. Uh, there's a printed value that tells you how much fortune you get per each uh, artifact, and then there's a danger. So then we're going to draw a location card to figure out where this one goes. Uh, this one is going to go to the Ivory Coast, um, which is in Africa. I think it's... Right here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. Okay, so we would take one of these skulls, we'd put it on the um, adventure, and we'd put it on the Ivory Coast to show that that's where that one's located. Uh, we would continue drawing until we get four of them, and then um, when you go to uh, when you go to the Ivory Coast, you can try to uh, encounter that, which uh, you have these little danger cards here. Um, so you draw from the bottom. And then, uh, and we're going to have the player that's not in the adventure read what happens. So this is a cargo plane mishaps. Uh, and it's going to say, um, it's going to have keywords like flying. I think some characters get bonuses when, yes. when they take flying yeah. tests. But it says, <clears throat> something's not right. Your flight has been sabotaged. Find a way uh, to uh, find a way out of this midair predicament. And so this is a cunning plus six, and it's got one X on it. So that means that we have to survive a cunning test. Um, so, like, I would throw four dice, yes, my, or three, is, three Yes, dice. since you're is three, you'd roll three dice, trying to get a six or higher. Get a six or higher, okay. Now, the number of X's indicate what kind of, uh, how many successes you need. Uh, so, for example, this is a an agility six, where it's one, t one success, and this is a cunning five plus at two successes. But the thing is, if I were to roll, let's just say that I, I'm in doing this test, uh, where I have mm -hmm. to roll, and I get three dice, if I were to roll a five, which I did, uh, then that's one success. So I would take one of these things to show that I was successful. And then I would I can take the test again. So I could just roll my dice again until I either fail, which I would have failed at that point, or I make enough to succeed that test. Do. So if you fail, your turn ends, you flip this over, and you are now in the uh, danger phase. This is just captured, and this will give you another test. We're not going to reveal what all these are. Um, but essentially, um, once you pass enough tests, in this case, you have three tests you have to pass. Every For every time you pass a test, you would keep one of these to show us you passed it. I can choose to camp down, which means that I stop taking tests, but I get to keep all my successes. If I don't camp That's down, <clears throat> I can keep pushing on, and I would draw one. But let's just say that I, I pushed on twice, and I'm going to push on again. This has three successes, and I fail. Um, and I, I, I lose these. Yeah. Okay. So camping down means I get to keep them. Even if I fail the next test, I get to keep them. So uh, so once I get that, I try to go to a city and I sell it for the listed value. Some of these cities have silver borders. Some of them have gold borders. Uh, the silver borders are minor cities. The gold borders are major cities. Uh, the major cities give you a plus one for selling. Uh, for selling them. Um, we're going to actually get into the meat and potatoes of how to play, but that's basically how the treasures work in this game. But um, I will explain kind of how um, 
things go. Um, first of all, there's the initiative phase where everybody rolls a die. Um, that's going to be your movement for the turn. So everybody will roll a die. If you roll a one, you get to draw an event card. And um, unless this is play immediately, you can just play it whenever the event cards are those gray cards. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think, does it... Let's see. Okay, so I don't think you get to re-roll. I think you just get the ones. One of their games, you get to re-roll if you roll one, but this one. Okay, so when you're moving across land spaces, you move from like these bordered areas. Um, it costs one movement, but the movement on the water spaces are printed on that one. So this is a one, that's a one. That's a two. I think there's one over there that's a three, but I cannot remember. Uh, the thing is, if you have the movement... The three is down right here, there Here's a the three bottom. up here, too, okay. in the Atlantic. So if I have two movement, I can't enter that space. Right. I have to have you at have least to a three, three to get there. Yeah. Because you can't stop in water. Yeah. The other thing, too, is um, you can spend uh, your glory, because your glory, is, your glory is your currency in this game. Mm -hmm. You can spend free glory uh, from a minor city or two glory from a major city to fly to any other city. Mm -hmm. um, and you'll get special things to help you out. Okay, so the move phase, I've described that. That's where you take your D6s and you get to move around. Um, the adventure phase is when you start looking for the artifacts that you're trying to get. Um, then there's the villain phase, which we would draw a villain event. Um, the, the Zeppelin would start moving, and the, um, the villains also have special outpost rules, which we'll go over the Nazis and then the villains start taking their adventures. So the first villain is going to go out. So this guy's actually kind of ready. So she's going to go out to the highest valued artifact. Okay. And she's going to start trying to rescue, get that one. And um, you, so I'll go over how to sneak by villains when we actually do that. But you can either sneak by them or you can fight them. Um, they have their combat value, which um, uh, Teresa is, uh, her combat value is free. She, has, she can take six wounds before being knocked out, but she has a defense of one, so she blocks the first hit every time. Seven. Yeah. Um, well, no, no. She blocks the first hit from every attack. Oh. From so you have to do attack. two hits to at least damage her. Oh, wow. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so she's tough. Uh, and then... If we're playing cooperatively, um, when it's the villain phase, do we all take separate turns, or do we all take collectively? No. We're going to take our turns together. Like so, so like first we all roll initiative, yeah. then uh, we'll start with the first player, and yeah. then they move. Everybody moves, then we go to the adventure phase. Okay. But then the villain phase okay. happens one time. That's what I was wondering. Okay. We're going to get set up, and we'll see you guys back in a second. Okay. So the locate uh, the your character's um, starting location is listed on a sheet. Like he starts in Cairo. I start. Uh, which London. is a city. Like Cairo's right here, right? Good day. Yes. Ooh, you're right next to the temple. Okay. Where's London? London? Yeah. Thank you. So, Tressa is going to go to the, uh, this, on her turn, she's going to attempt to try to get as much fortune from that as possible. Oh, joy. Um, and actually, can you put 10 uh, fortune coins on this? It's going to be over here, the city of Atlantis. I need 10 fortune coins. Um, Maybe you can sing your way out of it. So the way cities work is um, every time you pass one of the tests, instead of getting closer to getting the the, uh, the fortune or the, the treasure, you get a, a fortune straight up. Um, wow, that was so, like 10. Oh, yeah, well, there's 10 on there. So uh, the thing is, every time you pass one of these dangers, you pull one of the fortune off, same for them. Uh, but then there's going to be ways that essentially... You're going to add uh, tokens to show that it's unstabilized. Every time it's unstabilized, I'm trying to find the token. The collapsible? Oh, there's collapse, but yeah, so uh, every time you would roll... Uh, so every time, for every collapse token that you have on here, yeah. you roll that many dice. Oh, so okay. if there's one, you roll one dice. If there's two, if you roll one, the temple collapses, and then there's an escape rating um, on the thing, and then you have to try to escape. Where's the escape rating at, though? That's... Oh, here it is. The escape rating is a lower, uh, it's a lower plus five to escape. If you don't, ex you have to get two successes. If you do not escape from that, then you are knocked out. So there's that kind of risk versus reward on the temple. It's like the longer you're in there, the more gold you get, but, or the more fortune you get, but uh, it's going to get closer and closer to destabilization and finally collapse. Um, there's also these jungle locations, which I don't think any of our artifacts spawned in them. 
but they have these this like a jungle symbol jungle symbol for red outline uh what that means is before you can if you go there before you can even start searching for the treasure you have to look for it you roll a d6 and i think it's a uh, five or six that you have to, I'll look it up when we come across it. So um, we drew these before we recorded. So uh, this is the city of Atlantis and it is in China, uh, which is the city of Atlantis. These cards are randomly generated. You draw an artifact and an adventure, you put them together. So the city of Atlantis just happened to come out that way, which I'm happy about. Uh, the Cup of Medusa, which we did in our uh, little demonstration is in Africa. Um, it's, uh, what is, is it? what's the location? The, uh, oh, the Ivory Coast. Uh, then we have the, the shadow of the golden sun, and that is in um, India. Yes. Oh, is that, that's no, Saudi, Saudi. Yes. Yeah. Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. The the, uh, the Nazi secret base yeah. ended up in India. Yes. Uh, and the skull. Uh, I cannot see the skull of Pharaohs. Okay, and that is in um, Scandinavia. Yeah. Okay, um, so during the villain's phase, she's going to start also pulling fortune off and doing that kind of stuff. We'll go over that during her phase. But for now, we are all in the initiative phase. So I will be the first player, and then we'll kind of hand that off as we play. But for the starting thing, so uh, I got a one. So can you give <laughs> you me an event? event card. Do Good I news is I only need to go one space anyway to get... You want Drew to read it? No, the event cards go to you, and you can play them whenever you need them. Oh, okay. They're okay. like, like so... Since we're playing cooperatively, this is just a scratch, and I can prevent a wound. Okay. So these um, these are things that you just play whenever you want to play them, unless they say play immediately. So two. Okay, unfortunately, that's not enough to give you, but you only need one movement to get to that. Uh, yeah. Get there anyway, and you're going to either have to sneak past her or fight her in order yes. to look for that. Sneak, sneak, sneak. And you got a four. Four. Okay. So now we're going to go to the move phase. Um... So I'm going to, I was going to go to the Ivory Coast, but since I only have one movement, I'm going to move here to go for the, this treasure here. Um, so where do you want to move? Do you want to move to the... I want to move to this. Hold team. on, it's Drew's turn first. Oh, sorry. Uh, I mean, I'll... Okay, so you move. So it costs one to move in and out of cities. Okay. So you, to move away from your city, you'll have to move to just, just to that location. That's fine, yeah. yeah. Okay, and then where do you want to move to? Um, I have four, so I'm going to move into One, the North Sea and then Third. to yep. the Scandinavia. Perfect. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to go to the adventure phase. If we were like in a city, we would draw the city adventure. This those city cards right there, but none of us are in the city. So we're going to encounter our spaces. Since I'm the first player, I'll go first. So I will, um, I'm the yellow, and that means I have to go for four, um, four dangers to get this. Oops. Oh, yeah, sorry. Do you want to read this? Yeah. All right. So you have the secret ritual, danger, occult, and snake, glory, too. Okay. You stumble into a clandestine ritual of dark art, sneak by undetected or break up the party to get to the bottom of what's going on. Agility plus four, and it has four X's, mm -hmm. four, fight. You must fight the Order of the Crimson Hand. Okay. Um, there's so thankfully they have these cards here that have like generic enemies. To you know what I think I'm going to risk fighting the Crimson Hand. My my agility is two, but my combat is five. Uh, so they're going to get two dice, and I'm going to get. Uh, then they have to wound them four times. Uh, let's see. Oh, and then they gain a fight dice for every wound they take. So we're going to be going combat. So I'll let Drew roll off. Um, so if you want to take uh, your white dice here. Okay. So. So. For the. For when you're fighting a generic monster. Um, somebody that's not a villain. You fight to the death essentially. Um, yes. Five or six. Yeah. Um, if you're fighting a generic. Like if you're fighting a, 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 a villain then you just do one round of combat, unless you fail a sneak test. In that case, you do one round of combat for every uh, for every failure. We'll get into the sneak test in just a few minutes here. So I get five dice, and right now they get two since they have no wounds. Um, for every four, five, or six, we deal a wound to each other. Uh, I have the green dice, you're doing the white, where you can just roll off at the same time here. Oh, well, that's great. <laughs> okay, so 
it's actually not bad. So the way this is done is they have four wounds and zero defense. I rolled a four, a five, and two sixes, which means I actually knocked them out right away. Nice. They rolled a five and a six because Drew hates me. <laughs> but the thing is my defense is one, so I take one wound. So I would have taken the two wounds, but my defense negated that one. Nice. So I have five wounds I can take total. So I knock him out. I get four glory, so I get four of these, plus I get five, one for defeating that test. So you got a five. Yep. Nice. This is a currency that you can buy stuff with. So you buy stuff with glory. Uh, fortune is the victory points, which I don't understand that. Apparently other people are confused by that too. I would love to understand what their reasoning yeah. behind that was. So that card... Um, yeah, where'd you... I think it's under the... Oh, is it under that? Uh, no, the ritual. Oh, oh it's right here. Secret okay. ritual. That's going to go just to the top of the danger deck. And I get one success. Okay. Um, so, my question is, I need to do four successes. Do I camp down or do I push on? I'm feeling cocky. I'm going to push on. If I'm fighting Nazis and I'm next to the Zeppelin, they get a plus one. Thankfully, I was not fighting Nazis. So, okay. So do you want to pull out and give the bottom card to Drew? Okay. Uh, so, read the side without... No, read the shield, the, the shield without the skull. So without the skull? Yeah, without the other the side. Skull. So the other, the, side the, the, the other side is the cliffhanger side. Okay. That's if you fail. Okay, so, so you got card chase. Oh, boy. So, danger, driving, chase, glory three. Ooh. Outmaneuver and outrun the speeding car. Agility, plus five, two X's. <laughs> that is the thing I am weakest on, is agility. Now, the good news is it's a plus five, but I'm going to take the white dice here. So, oops, that doesn't count. <laughs> so, it's just two X's, which means I have to succeed twice, but even if I succeed one time, I can roll again. And I did not succeed. So what's going to happen is this is going to flip over. I lose my one success. And we're going to resolve this next time. So I'm now on a cliffhanger. So I'll just oh, put this over okay. my character. Okay, so now it's uh, Drew's turn. All right, so... Now you get to draw. Uh, so, oh, first of all, are you going to try and sneak by? Yes, yeah, sneak, okay. sneak, sneak, sneak. Okay, her, her search is four her, and her combat is three. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take four of her dice, um, and I want you to give me a number between one and six. One and six. Uh, three. Three. Okay. So I'm going to roll these dice, and if I get anything but a three, you're, you're good. But for every three I roll, you fail. Okay. And then you have to do one round of combat with her. Oh, one, three. Okay. So now you just got to do one round of combat with her. Okay. So her combat is three. If she's not adjacent. Oh, I forgot. She does bring two Nazis with her as well. Can you put those on there? I'll just next on the same space as her. What are your special abilities, by the way? Uh, martial art. So if I don't martial arts, if I don't have a gun, once per fight round, I can either re-roll one of my missed spice dice, or I can force the opponent to re-roll one of their successful fight dice rolls. Oh, that's cool. And then my other one is stealth. Per sneak test, you may re-roll a single dice. Hmm. That's why I was like, sneak, 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 sneak. Oh, so what, what was that sneak thing again? I'm sorry. Uh, the sneak, uh, the stealth is uh, once per sneak test, you may re-roll a single dice. Oh, okay. So I rolled a three on one of those, so I can actually have them re-roll that three. Do you okay. Wanna... Yeah. Two. So you actually don't have to fight her. So that's why, I, that's why I was asking what your abilities are, so. Lucked out that one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now you uh, you want to pull the bottom one and read it. Oh, this fits perfectly for you. Nightclub Rendezvous. Discover the truth as you pick your way through crowded nightclub to meet with your contact. Cunning. Six plus times one. So you have to make a cunning test. Cunning test, you get three dice, and if you get a six... Here, you want to give them another... Um, pull, out, pull out any color dice you're not using, so... Yeah. All right, 
So I got to get a six or better. Yes. Yeah. Come on. Nope. Okay, so we're going to flip that over to the... So one uh, dice has to be... One this, dice has to be a six. six. Yeah. Hold on. Temple's going to get one collapse token, so after this we'll have to roll to see if the temple collapses. Okay. Uh, so we don't and then now it's do Olivia's that until next turn. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yep. So is this for you? For me. Okay, so Maze of Caves. Danger, underground puzzle, glory three. You find your way through the cavernous maze or attempt to decipher the ancient markings scratched into the walls. Cunning, six plus, two X's. Or lore, five plus, two X's. I'll take the lore. I have four dice on those. Um... People see it. I know, I've been trying to do that too. Okay, so I need two five plus three. Yep. Okay, so we go. Yes! Two five pluses. Okay, so that means you're gonna get the glory that's listed on the on the card. So three glory. So remember the big ones are five. I know. I'm okay. trying to get to the small ones and I'm making a mess. <clears throat> so I have one success, correct? Yep. And so you can choose if you want to camp down or push on. And which one How are you How many on? do I need right here? Yeah, the, the shields are the ones that's listed. So it's not that one. It's the next one. It's this one. This one? Yeah. There's five. Five? Yeah. Oh, boy. That's a lot. I better go again. All right. So... Car chase makes it return again. <laughs> so, danger, driving chase, glory three. Outmaneuver and outrun the speeding car. Agility five plus two X's. Okay. Well, I only have three on the agility, but I'll try my best. Here we go. One. Okay, I'm going to roll again for the agility to see if I can get another five. Um, this one rolled out. So we roll it. Yes. Oh, you're lucky. <laughs> yeah, but even if it was excess, I'd tell you to re-roll it because. Um. Okay, I get another. Thing. And I think I'm going to stay. Okay. Because I'm so going to stay with the two. Yeah. Um, Hold on, see, so it starts the game with one gear and one fortune. Did you do that? <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah. So you got to draw a gear card, green ones. Thank you. So I got one. And that gives you a cigar. Plus one wound. <laughs> what? You better believe it. Now you're going to have three items and three allies. How do I get rid of this? Just keep it. Plus one to wounds? It, no, no, plus one wound. You get an extra help. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so now we are on the villain phase. <coughs> so we're going to draw a villain event first. Orders to kill. This card play, uh, plays on the table. Not sure what that says, but it's a remaining play. Next time a hero fights a villain, the villain gains five fight dice for the first round, then discard this card. Okay. So the first time we fight a Nazi, it's going to be really nats <laughs> nasty. And then um, we go to the um, outpost Zeppelin phase. So for the Zeppelin, we're going to draw a random location, and it's going to move towards that location. Uh, so if the Zeppelin reaches that location, then it places a Nazi soldier there. So it's in Italy. So does somebody want to roll a die for how many spaces the Zeppelin moves? Yeah. Oops, sorry. I just moved it there. So two. So I haven't moved two spaces towards Italy. And well, it's going to hit the Mediterranean. It's going to land in the Mediterranean first. Okay. Yep, right there. Two. Because yeah. that would be the shortest distance. Yeah. So it didn't get to Italy, thankfully, so it doesn't drop off a Nazi soldier. So this location. 
normally you're just supposed to put them in a discard pile, but I'm just like, there's no harm in putting them face down. Okay, so now that we don't have to worry about the Zep one right now, but then we are on the outpost phase. It says during the outpost phase, the villains roll a uh, dice on the roll of a five for uh, four, five, or six, a new secret base com comes up on a secret location. So, somebody want to roll for the Nazis? Sure. Okay. Well. Three. <laughs> so. It's better than that six. Yeah. yeah. Let's try to get it in the, in the thing. So no new Nazi bases are you know, stopping up right now. Um, if we ever get to the point where we have to play Nazis, place Nazis, and we can't, that moves our track up. Yeah. Now we are doing the, um, the, the Nazi villain phase. So he's going to be deployed to the next highest one, which is four, three, and four. Uh, so this one, he's going to go to this one because it has the least amount of danger. <laughs> he doesn't do anything. He just arrived there. Um, they roll adventure dice equal to their search skill, uh, minus one for each hero, and they roll a five or a six, or they take a danger marker, okay, or fortune, it's simple. Okay, so she's going, she has a search of four, but since you're there, it's going to be three. She's going to roll three dice, so for every four, five, or six, we're going to put a fortune on her. So Maybe you should roll, Drew. Good job. Wow, good job. So <laughs> you distracted her enough to keep her from Yay. fighting the, the lost city of Atlantis. Um, I gotta see what the collapse. Okay. Oh, you were supposed to win that, win that. Yeah. Okay, so you need to roll one die so and try to. not to get a one. Good okay, job. you're good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the temple did not collapse this turn. Yay. Okay. So now um, we're gonna hand you the first player. Well, I guess I'm gonna Drew. Drew. Okay. So the villains have all taken their turns. Um, yes. Okay, the end phase, which is this where we would replenish artifacts. There's no artifacts to replenish. We all roll our dice, right? Yep, for initiative. Now, me, uh, those of us who are on cliffhangers, we don't get to move this turn, but we might as well roll in the attempts to get a one to uh, try yeah. to get an event. So, three, I did not get a one. But you could, I mean, you're going to stick around, but you go ahead and roll two. Go ahead. Okay. Six. Unfortunately, no one for you. <laughs> Six. Well, you guys' this dice are on fire. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's the initiative phase. Uh, we are at the move phase. I don't think any of us are moving. Mm -hmm. I think we're all adventuring. Okay. Cliffhanger phase. So, Drew, I think you were in a cliffhanger phase. Uh, Olivia, yeah. do you want to read that? Ambush. It's a trap. Clearly, they were waiting for you. Fight. Draw an enemy's card. For this fight, it has defense of plus one. Okay. Ooh, a deadly snake. Um, Here is that. Uh, so. Um, ooh, okay. So any six they roll causes two hits. Um, and then what does it say? They get a plus one to their defense. Defense, yeah. Okay. So what happens is, do you want green or white dice? Uh, I'll take green. Here you go. And then uh, you want to roll for the snake. How uh, many? They get uh, four. So I get this is combat, right? Mm -hmm. And what's your special ability of combat? So mine is once per fight round, I may either re-roll all your missed fighting dice rolls or force your opponent to re-roll one of their successful fight dice rolls. Well, that's cool. Okay, so um, you guys can both roll off at the same time. Oof. Okay, uh, so the snake rolled a six and a four, so it's gonna hit you three times. You rolled one six, and his defense is plus one. Okay. So do you wanna re-roll your dice or make him re-roll off his? I'll make, I'll, he hit me three times? Yes, with one crit. Two. The six is kind of crit, oh, and then okay. for the snake. You want me to do it again? Uh, <laughs> and how many defense does he have? One. one. Well, with the plus one Just added one. to the... Just yeah. one. Oh, I already... Let's have him re roll one of his successful... Can Just you do one? all? No, that's only for me if on my miss. Okay. Does he all my fist at all of his... Yeah, so once per fight round, you may either roll all re -roll of your okay. miss fight dice rolls or force your opponent to re-roll one oh. of okay. their successful... Yep, so you want to re... Okay, so re-roll that six. 
That's yeah. actually, I think your defense is one, isn't it? It's, uh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so right. that's a three, so you block the one. So this this round. Yeah. So this round's a wash, so you guys get to roll again. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, you're good. Right. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oof. Oof. Yeah, I'd have him re-roll one of the fours, or like one of the hits. Is that what you want to do? Yeah. There you go. So now you only take one wound. Yeah, okay. Uh, Does the fight to the death? Yes. Ooh. Or they, you can try to escape, but if you escape, he, he leaves the... Temple? Yeah. Okay, like, yeah, you move a space adjacent away. All right. Come on, you just got to hit him. Five, five, five. So that's good. I would definitely roll. Um, what's a hit, a hit for you? Four, five, or six. Okay. But the sixes are twos. Okay. Yeah. Reroll for you. Okay. So you're still gonna take two wounds. Okay. But he also takes two wounds. So you need to wound the snake one more time, and you defeat it. I took. You said two wounds. Yeah. Oh, you only have one, one left. One left. <laughs> Last. Uh. And you use these dice. Got it. Here you go. Okay. I'm sorry. Well, it's not bad. Uh, I. Uh, wait. Um. Oh yes. I'm gonna have you re-roll. Cause. Yeah. It, yeah. Re-roll. Okay. Oh, sorry. That's not the end of the world. You don't lose anything. You're just sent back to the. Um, you just sent back to the, yeah, your starting yeah, point. You get so you just out, yeah. basically. And you would roll yeah. to see how many stuff you lose, but you don't have anything to lose. Yeah. So, so. And you lose all your wounds. So you're you're laid down right now. So your next movement phase, you're going to stand up. So, okay. Ah, so close. Uh, yep. Lee, Moi, is it Lee Mei Chen? Yeah, Lee Mei Chen. Lee Mei Chen had to go to the hospital. Sorry. Okay. Say lovey, or um, <laughs> I'm trying to remember the Chinese equivalent. I should know this. Okay, uh, so now it's Olivia's turn. Okay, um, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to fight. Fight it's yours. Okay. So you got the uh, confrontation at the docks. Mm -hmm. Um. Very fitting. Yeah. Following the goons to the dock, you quickly realize they're slipping more than just, uh, they're, they're shipping more than just simple cargo. So you have an agility at a five plus at one success and a cunning at four with two successes. So you have to make both those tests. Or you can fight and you can just fight a mobster. A mobster? Yeah. How much do they have? Mobsters have. Uh, three fight dice, four wounds. Oh, I have to do. Cunning you would have to do both agility and, and cunning. Agility. Yeah. Or I have to fight. I guess I'll fight. Okay, you'll fight. So. Um, I'll let Drew get back at you. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Oh, wait. I guess I'll take How many dice again? Did they have uh, three. Three. Yep. And he's not a Nazi, right? No. Rats. I get two All extra. Right. Let's get some. Five, four, and a one. Uh, so any four and two. So the fours hit and the five hit. Five, fives and fours hit. So you ignore the first wound, so you yep. take one wound, they take two. And then you guys keep it up. Just put them right here. Oh, I forgot to return that since I failed that. Oh, thank you. Getting that plus one defense, that was nasty. Mm -hmm. You really are trying to get back at me. <laughs> well, that... Who's green and who's... I'm, I'm the white, well, which I ignore the defense. There's just one, one, yeah, yeah so, so you wound good. them one time. One more time, and they're gone. And I'm not wounding you. That's a 
good thing. We're on the same team. I'm not on your team for this minute. Yeah, for really, yeah, that's true. Oh, I got another <coughs> six. I defeated them. I defeated them. I know, I see that, so hold on. Um, I'm just gonna take this cover off for now because uh, fighting this cover is not. Two more. Um, do you want to camp down or push on? I'm gonna go for it. Okay. Do you mind letting Drew draw from the bottom one and letting it come? I through? don't mind at all. Yep. All right. See non skull side. Yeah. So ancient trap. Danger. Ancient trap. Glory two. The walls here are lined with grotesque stone faces. As you proceed down the hall, you must draw on your knowledge of ancient culture to determine which are the traps to avoid and where it's safe to move. Lore, four plus, three exits. Well, I do have four dice, so I guess I'll go for it. You don't, I thought you had something special. Oh no, that's only if you're fighting Nazis. Yeah, only fighting Nazis. So okay, you, there's you, three. Yeah, that's all you needed. Oh, I thought I had to have four. Oh, perfect. I got it. So. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm trying to re like make sure I'm getting these rolls right. Let's. All right. So there's that for you. I'm gonna keep it because I'm so close. <laughs> okay. So, so it is Tristan's turn. Yep. Oh, okay. Let's see if you decide to camp down. Melee ends, you may discard all the danger cards that you overcome and collect their glory. Okay. Oh, I So actually, I don't have the glory. glory. I lost the glory because I didn't care. Oh, yeah. You get, you said two. Three. Or Three. two. Two. Thank you. Um, right. Sorry. Oh, how many Let's glory do we need to win? We need fortune. We need 36. Oh, we need fortune to win. Yeah. Okay, I still have that one success from last time. I did. I just don't get the glory from last time. So if I'm, I'm, I um, remember I completed one test last time. Well, mm -hmm. now we're doing this cliffhanger side, which uh, somebody can read that to me. And then if I fail, I get knocked out and I lose this. But if I succeed, I can push on or decide. Okay, so fiery wreck. Jump from the car before it crashes and go up in a massive fair fireball. Sorry, it's not spelled very well. Um, agility, five plus two X's. Okay. One, says one success. No! And knocked out, no. which puts me back here. Do you, do you lose your... Yep, I lose this one. This is going well, guys. Yeah. Okay, I think that's the end of our turn. A hero is placed back in their starting city. That figure is laid down on their side. Uh, they do not participate in the game until they recover during the end phase. Okay, so it's during the end phase. Okay, um, so we lose. Uh, anytime a hero is KO'd, they must immediately roll a dice and discard that amount of gear, allies, fortune, and glory. And then for any artifacts they have, they'd roll a one, two, uh, they'd roll a dice, and on a one, two, or three, they would discard that artifact. Thankfully, we didn't have any artifacts. So we, we had nothing to lose, which is good, but, um, so, oh. yeah. Okay, so villain phase, draw a villain event. All villains immediately take an extra villain adventure step outside their normal turn. No. Move the step one, move the track one step closer. Okay, so she gets to roll um, four dice, and any uh, four, five, or sixes, she's gonna go out grab fortune. Okay. So she's get she two. put two of them. We'll just put it here because we can steal that. I think for every fortune, I'll have to read what happens, and then he gets to uh, roll. His search is three, so he gets to roll three. Who does? The the guy in the blue skull. Um, oh, okay. Colonel Stahl. So he'll roll three dice. Ah, two success. True. I think Drew needs to quit rolling. Yeah. You're done. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. <laughs> okay. Sorry, folks. <laughs> it's 
just nasty game, but okay. Well, they then, might be for the Nazis. We don't know. Uh, then we go to the Outpost Zeppelin. So we'll do the Zeppelin first. So we flip a location over. It is in Mexico. So somebody roll one dice to figure out how far. One. one. So it's probably going to go to, uh, it's here. So it'll probably go over here. No, just here. Well, I, so what happened when it was trying to get to Italy? Uh, it didn't have enough movement to get to Italy. It rolled two. Okay. So it changed so directions. It went, um, it's about a new mission. Two, yeah. So essentially the way the way that works is it randomly moves across the board. Oh, okay. And then if it gets to that location, then it drops then off the Nazi drops. soldier. Okay. So it's just the way that moves the, the Zeppelin around. Um, so the um, outpost activates. So somebody needs to roll a die. And on a, five, a four, five, or six, a new secret base is going to spawn out. I had a feeling. Four. So at uh, the Amazon jungle, there's going to be a new secret base and a Nazi soldier. The Amazon's like it's, here? Yeah. So is that uh, up one. Here? Some, yeah. It looks like it's more down. It might be down there. Yeah, South Africa. Uh, is a yeah, little... that's the Amazon jungle, yeah. Well, and the thing is, you're right. That is the Amazon. It's just the way the map is laid out. Yeah, so. yeah it's, it's just weird. the shape in there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, like, this would show you the, um, that's a jungle. If there were a, uh, if there were a treasure on there, it'd be worth plus two fortune. Mm -hmm. I get to be first player? Uh, you do, but let me see what happens anytime the villains get fortune. I'm not sure. I think for every three they get, it goes up by one. Oh, anytime the villain rolls a one, they take a wound. So, I'm not sure ah. if we roll any ones over top. Uh, we might have rolled a few ones. Yeah, I think we did. Oh, well, well, that's fine. That's my bad. Sorry for each. So. so I was just checking a roll. If the villains ever capture three fortune, it moves up for one. The track it moves up the track. For every artifact they get, it moves up two. But we can get a chance to steal them back if we want to, like, uh, go oh, invade yeah. the zeppelin. Well, so. they only got two, so we don't move yet. Yes. So they don't move so, yet, but yeah. they have moved one, so... So it's the end of, it's the, it's the end of the phase, so our, um, our KO'd characters get to be stand-up now. Okay. Yep. And I got the first player token. Yep. Would you move the yep. dice? Well, just so people can see the board. Oh, okay. Okay. So... One. One, I get Which an event card. Which is actually what you want, yeah. Because right I'm there. not moving. Yep. Five, okay. And then Extra effort. Play on a, any hero to give them plus two agility or plus two combat for one we'll test or fight round. So I'll keep that handy. 